Hey everyone. Welcome to Top Tech News. This is your news channel for getting updated with the latest tech news headlines and their impact on business and our lives. To read the full news article for any of the news that we cover, simply click on its link given below in the description. To stay updated, show us some love and hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. This way you would be informed whenever we upload a new video. Hi, my name is D and I am your host for today. Today's top headlines are Gogoro scoops up another vehicle partnership. GM cancels to build Nikola electric truck. UK bans installation of Huawei. Audi returning to rally racing with an electric car. Samsung leads Q3 2020 smartphone market recovery. Let's get started. Gogoro scoops up another vehicle partnership. Gogoro has managed to scoop up another vehicle partnership that will see more electric scooters produced that will be powered by Gogoro's swappable batteries. The latest line of electric scooters joining the network will be CMC e-moving scooters. Gogoro holds over 90% of the electric scooter market in Taiwan which is a huge feat in a country like that. The Gogoro network has previously been used by manufacturers such as Yamaha and Ian Motor to produce unique electric scooters that all use a standard battery swapping platform. In fact, in addition to Gogoro's own electric scooter models, there are more than 30 different two-wheeled electric vehicles across six manufacturers that now use the Gogoro network for battery swapping. It has become the world's largest network for battery swapping. Gogoro has invested heavily in building up a robust battery swapping network. In Taiwan there are thousands of Gogoro's Go Station battery swap stations across the country. In fact in Taipei, riders are never more than 1 km or 0.6 miles from a battery swap station. The company unveiled new larger GO stations last year. According to Gogoro, the giant battery swap stations can store as much as 200 kilowatt hours of energy. That's enough to support up to 1,000 riders in each area. While Gogoro spent its early years building up dominance in its domestic market of Taiwan, the company has recently shown signs of international expansion. Gogoro's first electric bicycle, the carbon fiber EO1, was recently released in the US and Europe. The company's faster electric scooters are also going international, with Israel slated to become the first country to receive Gogoro's electric scooters. GM cancels to build Nikola electric truck. GM has dropped its plan to build the Nikola Badger electric fuel cell pickup truck and take a stake in the controversial company. However, GM will still supply Nikola with fuel cell hydrogen technology for its semi-trucks. Nikola is currently in hot water after a report from Hindenburg Research made several allegations exposing deception by Nikola and its founder Trevor Milton. Nikola issued a response to those claims, but the response lacked any rebuttal of the main allegations of deception by the company and its founder, Milton. For the most damning one, the claim that it faked the first video of its hydrogen truck driving, the company even admitted to it without issuing an apology and, instead, claimed its deception was fine due to a technicality. Milton ended up leaving the company as the pressure started to increase. All those revelations came in the wake of the announcement that GM was partnering with Nikola to bring its electric hydrogen pickup, the Badger, to market and taking a stake in the company. The deal, which involved GM providing its battery and fuel cell technology to Nikola, sparked a lot of controversy since Nikola had previously claimed to have developed its own tech in those areas. GM has been criticized for partnering with a company lacking credibility and trying to justify its deception. However, GM seemed to be considering walking away from the deal in the last few weeks. Now GM and Nikola have released a joint announcement confirming that the original deal to partner on making the Badger electric hydrogen pickup is off, but they are still partnering on the semi-trucks. They also mentioned that Nikola would refund all previously submitted order deposits for the Nikola Badger. The Nikola Badger project originated from Nikola's Milton not liking the Tesla Cybertruck. Before Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck last year, Milton tweeted renders of a pickup truck that the company created and suggested that Tesla could use those for the Cybertruck since Nikola didn't plan to build a pickup truck. However, after Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck and its polarizing design, Milton said that he planned for Nikola to build the vehicle, named Badger. In February, Nikola announced its plans for the Badger with a battery fuel cell hybrid powertrain enabling 600 miles of range, 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in 2.9 seconds and released a few renders. A few months later, Nikola started taking $100 to $5,000 deposits for the pickup truck and launched a massive marketing campaign to try to accumulate reservations. While most of the previously announced deal between GM and Nikola revolved around the Badger, it also involved GM supplying Nikola with its hydrogen fuel cell technology for its upcoming semi-trucks. 
that deal is still happening according to a new non-binding memorandum of understanding. UK bans installation of Huawei. UK cellular operators will be banned from installing Huawei 5G equipment after September 2021, the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport has announced. The government also released a roadmap to eliminate Huawei-built telecom gear by 2027 as well as any other equipment that posed a threat to UK's national security. The UK has reversed tack on its Huawei strategy, having said earlier this year that it wouldn't yield to US pressure to block Huawei tech from its 5G networks. In July 2020, the government revealed that it was working on proposals to ban the use of new Huawei 5G gear and accelerate the removal of equipment already in place. That decision followed the introduction of U.S. sanctions in May that banned American technology from Huawei products. Earlier this month, Huawei asked the U.K. to backtrack on that decision, with VP Victor Zhang saying the decision was motivated by U.S. perceptions of Huawei, and not those of the U.K. The U.K. government also unveiled a new 5G supply chain diversification strategy designed to bring new vendors into the 5G telecom market so that the U.K. is never dependent on a handful of telecom vendors. That includes the establishment of a 250 million pounds, or 332 million dollars, National Telecoms Lab, among other measures. Audi returning to rally racing with an electric car. Audi is returning to rally racing and doing it with an electric vehicle. The German automaker teased the new electric off-road prototype, which will first compete in the Dakar Rally in 2022. A while ago, Audi had a lot of success on the rally circuit with the infamous Group B rally cars, the Audi Sport Quattro S1. More recently, the automaker has stayed away from the sports and started investing more in electric motorsports like its presence in Formula E since 2017. Audi has shown interest in potential electric rally competitions, and now we learned that the automaker decided to pull the trigger. While the main source of energy is going to be a battery pack, the automaker says that it will also rely on highly efficient TFSI engine as a generator. The company also confirmed that the Dakar rally will replace Audi's factory involvement in Formula E. It will not be the first time that electric vehicles have competed in the Dakar rally though. Back in 2017, Oxiona's electric vehicle prototype became the first electric vehicle to compete the rally. Samsung leads Q3 2020 smartphone market recovery. The COVID-19 pandemic led to a heavy decline in the smartphone market this year. Q3 2020 has seen shipments start to recover according to a new report from Gartner. In Q3 2020, the smartphone market as a whole saw a 5.7% decline compared to Q3 2019. Combined, smartphone manufacturers shipped around 366 million units, down from 388 million the same time in 2019. That's far better than the 20% losses seen in the past two quarters. Over the past year, Samsung and Xiaomi both saw considerable growth. Samsung continues to dominate the market in first place with 22% market share and over 80 million units sold. Xiaomi also moved up to 12.1% share, shipping over 44 million units, up from 32 million in 2019 and totaling nearly 35% growth year-on-year. Year. On the other hand, Huawei continues to crash, as it still deals with the US ban. The Chinese giant shipped around 51 million units in Q3, down over 21% since 2019 and lagging far behind Samsung at this point, the rival it used to battle for first place with. Apple also saw a minor drop in Q3 2020, losing a little over half a percent year-on-year. That's attributable to the late launch of new iPhones though. Well this is positive news as it shows the economy getting back some of its spark with people starting to spend money. Hopefully this trend will continue as we come out on the other side of this 2020 year of the COVID. Well that's about it for today. Hope you found it helpful. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. And do show us some love by clicking on the thumbs up button. Have a wonderful day everyone and we will be back again soon.